Hey everyone, how's it doing? Welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and we have some news for you today because remember those leaked Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, Game Boy Color uh, emulators and games that came out from 4chan a week ago? If you don't know the story, essentially there are a bunch of you know emulators for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and the Game Boy Advance one seems to be the most curious one because the other, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color one seem to be individual game. Like each game is running its own version of the emulator and it's really hard to really dig into each individual game there. So the Game Boy Advance one called Sloop has been getting a ton of attention from the modding community and uh, others wondering, you know, is this real? Because leaks like this from 4chan can often be faked uh, and it, it turns out that uh, Modern Vintage Gamer did a video on this uh, five days ago, but even after his video, other things have come out about the simulator because Modern Vintage Gamer was very public in stating that, hey, this seems really, really suspicious, and the reasons it felt suspicious were due to certain things inside the actual emulation, including things like uh, some homebrew applications being there, which, you know, why would homebrew applications be inside an official Nintendo-made emulator? That doesn't make any sense. And obviously the use of Easy Flash, which Nintendo considered the use of the Easy Flash carts in the past to actually be considered piracy. So again, why would Nintendo be using them? These are obviously very valid points, and you should watch this full video if you want the full background on why those are a problem. But ultimately, at the end of his video, he determined that this emulator actually was made by Nintendo of Europe, made by Nerd, and is a Nintendo official emulator that has been edited, you know, as recently as 2020. Obviously, we can only look at what the files go up to in terms of the last time that this emulator was edited. So, and he was one of the biggest critics of this and has called out multiple of these fake leaks over the years, and he's even leading toward as being true. But again, I mentioned there's new evidence. So, before I dive into that, thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance, and, uh, Drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into the actual meat and potatoes here. So first up, I want to show you guys a clip from Modern Vintage Gamer's video uh, talking about why he ultimately determined that this was, you know, real, and then we'll get into the new evidence. Emulator by Nintendo Europe R&D division known as Nerd. The smoking gun, if you will, is what's known as the commit history. One crucial part of this leak that came bundled with the game is the commit history. This contains a running list of all changes that were done to the emulation's code when the changes were made and by whom. While a git commit log could be faked, if it was to be faked, it would have just been easier to remove this folder before leaking it out. So what do the logs actually tell us? Well, the emulator was updated in 2020, and of course we have no visibility as to what has progressed since then but it indeed shows us that the users that were committing code to Sloop were indeed nerd employees. The emulator itself has also been reverse engineered, and there is no trace of a community-based emulator such as MGBA or VBA. Again, something that would be fairly difficult to conceal. And with these two pieces, I do believe that this work was internally developed at Nintendo. At least all the signs point to that. As for the Easy Flash, I can only assume that this was internal work that Nerd was developing that would never get beyond their studio. Now, obviously this is some pretty credible evidence that this emulator is real and obviously gives credence to the fact that this is going to be coming to Nintendo Switch online. But more than that, more than that, we have additional evidence that just cropped up, what, like two, three days ago uh, on something that Nintendo actually did officially that's within the files that seems to be lining up. And this is pointed out by Twitter user Mondo Mega. So Mondo Mega uh, looked at this, this status from back in 2021 of last year, early last year, and says, so this maintenance here is a year ago and actually was for Sloop. So again, the, the Game Boy Advance emulator, the leaked GBA emulator has the same title ID, proof that they naturally continued to work on it past the August 2020 build date of the leak at least. So essentially, this, uh, the, this title ID was in... Uh, this leak that, you know, last was worked out in 2020, and now we saw that there was maintenance actually on that title ID in 2021. So that's very, very obvious evidence that this is being worked on by Nintendo. So when we sit here and we think about this leak and what it all means, essentially this basically confirms, you know, almost beyond any shadow of a doubt that this 4chan leak, and again, 4chan leak was real. 
and that these are actually Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance emulators and games worked on by the Nerd Development Studio, the Nintendo European Research and Development Team out of, well, Nintendo of Europe. And as such, they are the ones that actually worked on, guess what? All the rest of the stuff on Nintendo Switch Online. So this makes this actually extremely likely that these games are going to be, and emulators, are going to be coming to Nintendo Switch Online in the future. Now we got N64 first, Genesis first. Hey, is the big update for this September going to be Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance? I think it's looking highly likely at this point. The one thing we know for sure right now is that these emulators and the games that are associated with them were in the works on the back end. We're in the works on the back end here for the Nintendo Switch. So now the question is, will they come out for Nintendo Switch and when? And that has yet to be determined. So now that's the news. That's my thoughts on it. I'm really excited. Uh, I think these are going to be great additions to Nintendo Switch Online. I think this is obviously massive additions over anything that have happened at Oh, what do they call that? A uh, 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 virtual console. Obviously, we're starting to get platforms and games that haven't been on it. Uh, and yeah, that's that's really it. So thank you guys for watching. Now, uh, I will note that last video I said that I would be on my new set. Uh, there's one last item for my new set uh, that I'm waiting for. Uh, I actually just got someone working on it for me here yesterday. Uh, they said they should be done by May 1st or uh, Monday, maybe. So we're just going to sit here and wait uh and, and and see if that's done i want to make sure when i bring this set to our new standard news format that you guys are seeing it in its full glory we'll be going back to 4k 60 fps as our standard uh we'll still maybe do a rushed video here and there uh, with this camera but uh, a lot of videos i'll be able to do from there i'll be able to have my laptop right in front of me and still show you guys everything going on uh and it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of fun um if you guys remember the sit down set from before it's basically an evolution of the sit down set uh so i'm, I'm looking forward to showing that to you guys and uh, we did other work around the studio yesterday, actually, as well. So you guys might know we did the podcast yesterday. We will not be live streaming tonight. Uh, or we did we do the podcast yesterday? Yesterday was the Walkie Bucks playoff game. So no, podcast was the day before. We are not actually going to be doing any live streams probably the rest of this week. I know it feels a little, a little rough saying that. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's just the way that the end of this month is working out. Uh, but one thing that's interesting when I'm looking around at all the craziness happening here is Eric and I actually got a lot of work done in the studio last night. You see a bunch of junk laying out over here and even over here. Uh, we had to rerun some cable runs to fix some issues we were having with our podcast set. Uh, we, we needed to get powered USB extender ones in there. So for those who don't know what powered USB extenders are, basically at the end of the run, you plug in a power cord. And what that power cord does is enhance the signal running through the run by basically slapping some electricity into it uh, because obviously it's all communicated over electricity so slapping more electricity in just boosts the signal and uh gives you a better connection to the good old computer that's right here behind the camera uh so there is that and my dog is whining up a beast i think he needs to go potty you need to go potty buddy huh? all right link yes that's right my dog's name is link uh let's go on an adventure together to the backyard and i'll catch you guys in the next video